Yo guys, what up, the Blue Gangsters here uh, with another help out tutorial Tekken video and Happy New Year uh, by the way. Um, this is not for those guys, this video is not made for those guys who actually know how to do electrics, just frames and all that stuff. This is for those guys who don't know and they actually want to know how to do it after getting advice, watching videos, and they still don't understand how this actually works, alright? So, there's a thing that you actually have to know and learn, but nobody tells you. Because it's so normal, it's common sense, so common sense, so regular, that they don't even thinking about that being a thing. Okay, and that is like the balance of input, let's cover that as execution, and timing. Okay, so what do I, what am I actually talking about? So if you want to learn the electric, right? First thing, of course, is to get the right input. Because if you don't get the right input, you know that, that it's not going to work, right? But there's another thing, and that's timing. There's always, for every action you do in this game, 60 FPS, you know, there's always a window for everything, okay? Really, for everything. So, what the game or whoever does not tell you is that there is actually a window that you need to respect, because if you're not doing the right input in in that type of window time window specifically you're not gonna get the move you want you're not gonna get the right move out you want for example electric right this let's let's just do it right first okay this 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 is electric the right way if I do it slower, this happens. If I do it even, even slower than that, this happens. I can, it doesn't matter if it's, if it's the wrong or the right input, it's basically the same thing is going to happen. Why? Because in order to, uh, for you to get the electric, it's not just doing, like pressing what's up there forward neutral down down forward plus two it's not only that it's also the timing like go into into um yeah the command list and watch this you see how fast this demo is and that's that's the thing it's not only the input but also the timing if you do it too slow or too fast things like down to down forward two forward 2 or even just 2 are going to happen or TGF uh, yeah uh, TGF what am I talking about WGF instead of EWGF you know the the regular one not the electric okay so and that's what you need to master first not only the input but the balance of input and timing and if you master both if both of them are on the same level you can, then you can do this then there is no problem but that's the thing nobody tells you nobody tells you to because you just think if I do most of y'all maybe think if I do like if I press what's actually up there as fast as possible it's going to work that is not the case that's bullshit it's not about it's not about as fast as possible it's it's as accurate as possible by accurate I mean the input and then you gotta respect the time window just just watch the demo and try to replicate it okay and if you've done the right input and it's still just the not electric version it means that you were too slow but never forget never forget don't be overconfident even most of all times even if you think that you got the right input done it doesn't 
need to be always that case. That means even if you think you got the right input, it still could be the wrong one because I can do electrics like this. You see that? There is no neutral. There is no neutral and it's still electric. Right? So don't be overconfident when it comes to inputs. Always think, okay, maybe I pressed something wrong and always do your best to get it right. And then you need to learn like how fast you have to execute the input. Because if you do it too slow, if you do it too fast, it's not going to work. You need to get the hang of it. You need to get the hang of the actual time window. And for to master this balance, to get both things right at the same time, there is no other way around. The only thing you can do is to repeat it till it works. That's the only way. Everybody who tells you something else is just talking bullshit. That's, that's not the case. You have to. There is no other way around. And I know for a lot of guys this will suck like why does it have, have to be that difficult? But that's just the way it is. If you want to learn something like that, you gotta put some effort in it. There's no other way around. There's no easy... Even if you got a shortcut, right? Even if you got something that makes it easier for you, it's, it's not gonna be... It's not gonna be the thing you want. It's not gonna be the thing you want. You want it to do it the right way. You want to do it the right way. Even if you like, let's say, cheat or something. In the end, when you really want to use it in a match, this is not going to be the thing you want. You want to do it the right way. So you got to learn it the right way. And that means you have to put a lot of time in that. Yeah. Depends on how fast you learn it. But the thing is, you got to master the right input and the timing window. And then repeat it till you get it right. And as soon as you get it right, let's say you try and try and try. And then suddenly, suddenly, like you get it right like three or four times in a row. Two times, three times, or even four times in a row. Doesn't matter. Stop. Put the controller, the arcade stick, whatever you got away. Press pause, whatever. Remember that feeling? Remember that feeling, don't let it go and try to replicate the exact same thing. Not just what you did on screen there, but what you felt when you got it right for the first time. Even if it was accidentally, doesn't matter. Just try to grab on that feeling and try to repeat like you're going back. You're going back, you're like, yeah, turning the time back, the clock back, whatever. You're going back and you try to put yourself in the exact same situation, in the exact same position you were in when you accidentally or not accidentally uh, done it right. Okay? And then try to replicate it. Repeat it. All the time. As long as you can. As long as you can. And never forget, if it doesn't work, it means one of those two things is not balanced. First, input. Second, time window. Okay? And then repeat it, repeat it, repeat it all the time till you think you got the hang of it. And if you, if you can do it like, I don't know, let's just say three in a row, three in a row for three times. Three in a row for three times, okay? Do it three in a row for three times. And then close the application. Get off tack and do something else. Do something else. Do something else. Come back the day after. Couple of hours later. Whatever. But take a break. Take a break. Come back. Repeat it and be pissed that it doesn't work. The way you thought it would. Because you're gonna think, okay, I got it. And if you if you're lucky or if you if you actually got it, that's good for you. That means you mastered it. But in most cases, if you come back, it won't. It won't work. And you gotta be pissed because you thought that you actually got it, but you didn't. So that means 
you have to restart the whole thing again start from scratch and you're gonna be pissed I know but you need to start from scratch and maybe because you're frustrated because you think you got it but it wasn't the case it will take longer than the last time you did and you gotta repeat that I don't know how many times till you actually get it till you actually get it because then this thing will become so normal so common so casual whatever you're gonna be so used to this thing that you won't even think about doing it right but it's still gonna work like it's it's gonna feel like I don't want to do electric I want to do the normal one and then electrics electrics will be everywhere and you'll be like what the hell just happened and, but that's the process that's the whole thing and it's the exact same thing it's the exact same thing uh, with is this actually included in it in a okay looks like maybe it is I don't know it's the exact same thing with um, OTGF like there are a lot of just frames like OTGF and JSFR are not the only just frames in the game there are a lot of different types of just frames in this game but if in in like most cases when somebody's talking about just frames he be talking about these two moves and they're exactly the same thing OTGF and just frame skyrocket input wise are the exact same thing okay so the command for it is forward neutral and then down forward plus one that means those three buttons at the exact same time and that's probably the most difficult part about it because you're gonna you're gonna understand that there is th you need to have a neutral after the forward but then the most difficult part for you will be to press down forward one at the same time that's that's probably gonna be the most difficult part after forward neutral down forward one at the same time um you need to you need to like figure out a way f where for you it's like the easiest the most comfortable way to press these three buttons at the same time just try it out like I don't know um, there are people who use like the it depends if you play on a cage stick or on on pad uh, even there are like guys who play pad like they just lay it down and they play it like um, on on arcade stick and stuff so I can't really help you there you need to figure out a way where it's like the most comfortable for you but you you really need to learn and that's where this comment down there this comment history is going to help you because if you do down forward one uh, on its own it's not just you're never gonna get you're never gonna get down forward one on its own down there there's always gonna be something different next to it always you you can't get a clean down forward one that's not possible but this way it actually works because it's a whole command okay so at least y the, the goal is that the uh, directional input down uh, down forward needs to be above the one not before that not after it but they need to be aligned right and then you try it with with forward and neutral and then you'll see if you get it wrong or right and yes of course if you do it too slow something like this is going to happen but that's okay that's okay that's that's just the beginning the first thing you should focus about is the input then the timing and then input again because this goes hand to hand because if you get the ro right input and then you try it faster it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get the right input again just because just because of the case that you did it faster because you're like 
stressed or whatever. So first input, then timing, then input again, then timing again, then input again till it's balanced. Till it's balanced. You need to go from A to B and back to A and back to B. Like that that's just how it works. That's just how it works. So then you know if if it did not work, one of those things isn't right. Okay? And then you can and then you can um do like twice in a row or even um combos or um wait a second yeah combine it it will wait because that's just making this this balance between timing and input more complicated if you have to do it if you have to do it twice in a row or even like uh, electric into um, just frame it's, it's gonna get more complicated because you need to respect the input and the timing of both of those at the same time you need to respect like okay this is how long it takes to to do the electric then there is a neutral in between because you do, you cannot you cannot press OTGF right after electric because things like this will happen again all right you need to respect the the neutral in between those moves the the those frames the recovery frames and then you you need to switch okay electric timing okay OTGF timing okay OTGF timing OTGF timing electric timing yeah you need to respect those first you need to know them and the way this works is muscle memory it's muscle memory because your hands are gonna remember that feeling they gonna remember that timing your your brain actually does but it works through your hands so muscle memory because it's like it's like getting a little shock and they gonna remember it how it feels it's like it's like I don't know being injured or something for a long time even if you are healed up you're still gonna have you're still gonna have like that feeling like of how it was hurting back then because your brain remembers that's also some type of muscle memory thing and it's the same it's the same with the inputs your hands are going to remember the input and the timing of it and then you need to accustom to it you you need to get comfortable in that way so you can switch between those right first you need to learn them them on their own so you actually know what they are about and then you need to get them like comfortable so you can switch between those without having any trouble and that's basically it this is everything you need to learn and to know to actually get it done the right way there is no shortcuts no bullshit nothing because if you use something else or do something that that's not the proper way if you don't do it the proper way it's 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 not going to to work it's not going to work it may work for that period of time but but you you'll never will know how to do it the right way the exact way and it's the same thing because um uh, I learned how to do electrics first then I learned how to do OTGFs and then I just switched to Horang and did the exact same thing and I like it worked it just worked because I understood the the mechanic behind that move and then there were some different things like different just frame things and they were completely different they were completely different but at least I knew what to look out for what to look out for because I'm um, in that zone you're in that zone um, I'm not a master at this like I'm I'm not an execution god I'm not an electric god I'm not a just frame god like the best uh, 
in in OTG apps uh, is Big Nose that I know personally, and the best in doing electrics that I know personally is Blue Skyrocket. Both of them were students or pupils or whatever you want to call it of mine um, when they started with Tekken, um, and they now they can do it or they could back then when they played because I don't think uh, Blue Skyrocket is still in there. Um, I hope so. Um, they can do it better than I do. So if you find, if you look, look them up, I don't know about Blue Skyrocket if he got like some YouTube thing going on, but I know about Big Nose. I got his Twitter and everything. If you want to see crazy OTGF style uh, stuff in real match, just, just, just look him up. He, he knows how to do that stuff because, whoa, that was a nice double. Um, <laughs> because he he mastered it like it he he spent so much time in practice just to master that move it's it's incredible um yeah and that's basically it i think i told you everything you need to know just just a little recap learn the input don't be overconfident always think you've done something wrong if it doesn't work try to get the hang out the timing Respect the timing. Try to balance input with timing. Get it right once, accidentally or not, doesn't matter. Grab on onto that feeling. Never let it go. Always try to replicate it, to reproduce it, to mimic it the exact same way. And then repeat this process. Take a break till you think you're you you're out of that zone. Go back in, try to get back into that zone and do it so many times until until you're not even aware of being in that zone. Till it is so common for you, so normal, so easy for you to actually do what took you so long or so much to actually execute it. And that's going to work with, with OTGF and electric and whatever. That's the way to do it with basically everything in Tekken because everything has an input and a time window that needs to be respected and if you balance both of these you can basically learn everything that's how I that's how I um, try to do the hundred dollar combo the dash combo when I first saw it I was like okay I'm a Jin main and this is so cool that's so dope I need to learn that type of thing and since I already knew what, like the background of it, I knew, okay, this is a micro dash. I don't know how to do a micro dash, but I know that there's a certain input. So I looked everywhere just to, like, I, I searched for like 10 different versions of how to do the $100 combo. And in all of those 10 versions, they said it's a really really fast forward forward so I knew for a hundred percent that it's just forward forward in the right time window and then I got into practice and I tried to get the right timing I just just repeated it all the time for hours and hours and nah, I don't think this time it didn't take me hours but you you get what I'm saying till I knew that I got the right timing then I tried it in, in, in whatever, treasure battle, versus matches, online, now I can do it in tournaments without even thinking about it. But that's how you like, how do I say it? Yeah, that's basically how you start approaching a new thing, a new mechanic, a new move. And if you respect all of that, you should have no problems in learning anything. Um... And that's basically it, like everything else I will say now is just hyper extending it, so I think this video is already long enough and it's something is there that you did not understand, it was too complicated, it wasn't like understandable or something, just let me know, I right? Okay, that's basically it, so hope this helped you guys, uh, see you next time, the Blue Gangsters out, peace YouTube, word.